Hello there and welcome. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at plotting vorticity. So we're going to be using the 3D dam break case and we're going to be looking at plotting a vorticity at a point around about there, so on the front of that face there. So we're going to be using the measure tool on the right hand side under post processing. And as you can see we've got a variety of variables we can explore and a variety of formats we can do it in. We're going to do it in VTK and we're going to take vorticity. We're going to call this dam break vorticity and we are going to choose which point we're going to export. Sorry, so click on list of points and we're going to use a point 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, which is about that front face around about there. So we click export now, and just wait for that to export. Click OK, and now we'll go to power view. So now we're going to open up the VTK file we've just saved. So you can see it's in the dam break out folder and then we have our downbreak vorticity.vtk file. So if we just click apply and we're going to get this error message. Don't worry about it, it's just to do with the orientation. As soon as we change this to Y plus it won't matter anymore. So now we're just going to change this to a point and we're going to change the point size to about 10 ish so we can make it easier to see. So you can see it just there. There you go, a bit easier to see now. And we're going to click play. Oops, sorry, we'll change that back to vorticity. And you can see it's changing colour depending on the level of vorticity. So if we just watch that through again, you can see properly how it's changing colour. So now we're going to select our point by clicking on this tool here and dragging a box around our point. We're going to go to filters, up in the top bar there. I'm going to go down to alphabetical and we're going to click on plot selection over time click apply on the left hand side and there we have our vorticity plotted over time and on the left hand side we can get rid of those the variables we don't want so that we just have our vorticity magnitude over time thank you very much for watching if you have any further questions please refer to the Jules Physics Forum or contact us at julesphysics at gmail.com.